A safari tour on the savannah is a highlight of any trip to Werribee Open Range Zoo. Our animals have lots of space to roam, often living in large herds. If you're lucky, you might spot a young, awkward, brand new calf or foal taking their first steps. We asked Keeper Katie to translate the cute behaviours of some of our favourite savannah baby animal moments over the years. Hi, my name's Katie. I'm a savannah keeper here at Werribee Open Range Zoo. So these are some of the latest additions to uh, the savannah. Uh, there's a scimitar horned oryx calves. Uh, and yeah, they're really cute when they get to about a week of age, they start all hanging out together in what we call a crèche. And yeah, they're really important to the population here at Werribee Open Range Zoo as scimitar horned oryx are actually um, yeah, pretty low in population um, in the wild. So when we're expecting calves to be born on savannah, uh, we keep a really close eye on mum while also giving her plenty of space. Uh, they know just what to do. They kind of take themselves off somewhere nice and safe where they feel comfortable. Um, yeah, and they usually pop out the calves within about half an hour. Um, so, and we're watching them closely for the next week or so to make sure they're nice and healthy, they're drinking from mum. Um, so all our calves out on savannah at the moment, uh, yeah, running about looking good. So this is a very fresh little baby. Um, looks like a boy, I think. Um, yeah, so they're quite orange when they're born, a bit brown and orange, uh, whereas the adults are completely white, so they start to pale up a bit as they get older. Um, yeah, and you can tell it's really young because it's you can't really see any horn. They do have tiny, tiny little nubs when they're first born, um, and they start growing pretty quickly after that. This is a little Asiatic horse foal or Shvolsky horse. So yeah, this is from a few years ago. Um, and yeah, they're a little bit different to the antelopes in the way that they um, they kind of interact with mum. Um, so they're up and about within the first kind of hour or so after being born, uh, really steady on their feet quite quickly. And they stick incredibly close to mum um, for the first kind of year or so that they're born, yeah. So this is our horse herd um, yeah, splashing about in their wallow. Um, I'd say it's likely a hot day, that is when they tend to kind of get about in those mud wallows. Um, so yeah, they splash about with their hooves and then they actually get down on their knees and roll around. So it's yeah, such a great way for them to cool down because they do spend a bit of their day running around and get quite hot. Um, so it's really lovely that we can provide that kind of um, enrichment for them. So this is a Nyala, or another African antelope. 
Um, and they have similar behaviour to the oryx when they have young. Um, so they stash them away in the bushes and things where they're really hard to see. Um, so yeah, they'll do that for about a week or so until the calf gets uh, strong enough to be up with the group. Um, so yeah, we do spend a bit of our time in that first kind of week or so Keeping an eye on those calves, because um, it can be quite hard to find them, um, is a really nice lush exhibit that the Nyala are in, because they're more of a woodland species. Um, so yeah, it can be quite hard to spot those, um, those little tiny little Nyala calves in the reeds there. Oh, very sweet. Uh, so this is one of our bison calves. Again, this is from a few years ago. Um, I reckon this is little Tami, who's, who's all grown up now. Um, but yeah, looks like she's spending a bit of time with her mum, Taya. Um, so as you can see, yeah, they're quite a different colour uh, to the adult females. Uh, quite orange when they're born, uh, which kind of lends themselves to their, their nickname that we give them when they're born, which is little pumpkins. So yeah, she's already looking quite quite up and about. They're a little bit wobbly for the first few days, bison calves. Um, and we do tend to find them, they do tend to um, carve overnight. So often we'll come in in the morning and we'll just find one extra bison in the paddock, uh, which is nice. That's kind of, yeah, the um, quiet night time is when they feel most comfortable to, um, to give birth. So this was a really exciting day on Savannah. This is when we actually moved our bison herd all the way across to the other side of the zoo, which yeah, is not a small task, as you can imagine. Uh, it was all part of our expansion plan here at Werribee Open Range Zoo. Uh, so we built them nice new exhibits across the river. So we run them all the way along those series of raceways, all the way across the other side of the zoo to get to the new paddock. Um, and it went really well. The team were all really happy. Um, everyone was nice and safe um, and they were pretty excited to enter their new paddocks and to explore. So one of the really important processes that we have to do uh, when our antelopes have new calves is a neonate catch up. Um, so we catch them at about day one or day two when they're um, still a bit quiet and not running around too much. Um, and we do things like give them their vaccinations. And one of the hazards that we do have to put up with is uh, some cheeky ostrich that are in the same enclosure as uh, these ones in particular. We're catching a little black buck that morning. 
yeah, it's just one of those things. Uh, we had to get a job done. We had to get it done quickly. So um, yeah, we kind of let them do what they need to do. <laughs> So we have quite a successful uh, zebra breeding group out on Savannah. Um, I think we've had about three foals this season. Um, they're all, yeah, nice and healthy. Um, again, they're pretty similar to the Asiatic horses there. Um, the mums foal overnight um, and we generally just find an extra zebra there in the morning, uh, which is nice and easy for us. Um, I think this mum in particular is Zaidi. Um, and that's her latest foal. Zaidi is an incredible mum. Um, she's had about seven calves, I foals, sorry, I think. Um, and yeah, she's uh, nice and protective of them. She doesn't let the other zebras kind of get too close. Zebras can be a bit feisty. Uh, they do definitely have, there are certain little cliques within, uh, within the zebra groups. Um, so particularly when there's males involved, they might choose some of the females that they like the best and kind of separate them off from the rest of the group. So um, it's always pretty interesting watching the dynamics of the herd because uh, it does change around and things even day by day. Um, so yeah, they are super confident individuals um, and I think that lends itself to the females being such great mums um, from the get-go. So while the kind of horse species are a little bit different to the antelopes, there we do see a lot of similarities, particularly in the um, the devoted mums and the kind of protectiveness that they show over their babies. Um, so zebras are always pretty feisty if any other mums kind of want to get close to their foal. Um, similarly with the antelopes, we always give them plenty of space because otherwise the mum will let us know if we're too close. So. Um, yeah, it's something really nice that we like to see out on Savannah. Thanks for watching. If you want more Zoos Victoria goodness, make sure you click the subscribe button now.